From completing bomb projects to the opening of new schools in Buda, it was another busy year for the city. Here's a look back at 2019. Old Goforth wrapped up construction and reopened in early November. The improvements included the widening of existing pavement for dedicated turn lanes, reconfiguration of sidewalks, and other upgrades. The Oxbow Drainage Improvement Project also wrapped this year. Channel improvements and culvert upgrades were made along the main channel. Construction is done on the Houston Street Drainage Improvement Project. It included the construction of an open channel along Lily Street and a construction culvert along Rose Street. Work on the wastewater treatment plant expansion is underway. This is a two-year project. It will increase the capacity from 1.5 to 3.5 millions of gallons per day. City Park is coming along. Upgrades include two new playground areas with ADA-compliant playground equipment, a splash pad, pavilion improvements, new restrooms, and a games and grilling area. Perhaps one of the most exciting additions to City Park is an amphitheater. With the addition of the amphitheater, the city of Buda is poised to become a premier festival and event location. Construction is expected to be finished in the spring of 2020. The Main Street and 967 improvement project is ongoing. Work started a few months ago. The first phase of the project focuses on the east side of Maine. After the holidays, work will shift to the west side of Maine. Improvements include widening the sidewalk, creating turning lanes, addressing traffic flow, and other upgrades. The project is expected to be finished in the spring of 2020. Meanwhile, work on Main Street between Cabela's and railroad is also ongoing. The improvements include signal modification at Bradfield Drive and Main Street to accommodate additional lanes, the extension of the sidewalk along Main Street, and improved accessibility to Bradfield Park. Work is expected to wrap up in the summer of 2020. Governor Greg Abbott signed Senate Bill 483 into law. Senate Bill 483 is particularly impactful as it relates to the city's future aquifer storage recovery pilot well. The city originally introduced the legislation during the 2017 legislative session. Next year, the city will drill an ASR well near the Garlic Creek Booster Station and well number five. At the same time, this will allow us to perform facility upgrades at the Garlic Creek Booster Station. The city installed a new water meter system. The new system enables customers to see their consumption data in real time as opposed to having to request consumption data from the city. This also gives citizens control over their consumption by enabling customers to set usage alerts and leak warnings. Trying to empty out your medicine cabinet but don't know where to take unwanted or unused medications? You can now dispose of excess and expired prescriptions, including over-the-counter medications, at a med return drop box location located in the lobby of the Buda Police Department. The City of Buda's water system recently received high marks from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. Through the hard work of the city's public works operations and engineering professionals, the city has been designated a superior public water system by the TCEQ. To earn this designation, a system must meet and maintain a higher set of standards that are required of all public water systems. Several changes were made to the animal control ordinance this year, including changing pet registration from a yearly requirement with tags to a lifetime registration with microchips. The City of Buda, Buda Economic Development Corporation, and Buda Area Chamber of Commerce took part in Buda Legislative Day at the Capitol. It was an opportunity for city leaders to meet with lawmakers to discuss upcoming legislation that would impact our community. Lauren Middleton Pratt joined the City of Buda as the new Assistant City Manager of Development Services. Middleton Pratt came to the city from Jones Lang LaSalle, where she served as a financial analyst. She served in both the public and private sector for 10 years prior to joining the City of Buda. The City of Buda's fiscal year 2017-2018 annual audit of the city's financial reports was completed by the city's external audit firm, Whitley Penn LLP. Once again, the city received an unmodified or clean audit. Having a clean or unmodified audit means the city's financial records have been determined by the audit firm to be free of any material misrepresentations. 
The Butte City Council passed an ordinance declaring offensive odors a nuisance within city limits and 5,000 feet outside city limits. The city already had an odor ordinance, but this allows the city to enforce odor ordinance in the ETJ, or extraterritorial jurisdiction. The ordinance regulates unreasonably noxious or strong odors that drift across property lines, odors that adversely impact public welfare, property values, the economy, or quality of life are considered a nuisance and in violation of the law. In June, the City Council approved an amended Water Resource Management and Drought Response Ordinance. The updated ordinance includes the addition of new definitions such as outdoor splash pads and protected trees. Drought triggers were also modified to add drought conditions from the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority. Wiley Hopkins City Council term ended in November. Mr. Hopkins served on the City Council since 2013. A big thank you to Mr. Hopkins for his service to the citizens of Buda. Council Member Leah Ranofsky and new Council Member Terry Cummings were sworn in during the November 19th City Council meeting. Urbanofsky ran uncontested for at-large position 1 in the November 5th general election. Cummings replaces Mayor Pro Tem Wiley Hopkins in the single-member District C seat. City Council also elected Urbanofsky as Mayor Pro Tem. It was a busy year for the Buda Public Library. It truly is a community space and a popular destination for students and adults alike. The Maker's Lab is a place to let your creativity flow. It is packed with items and tools for everyone to explore, and the Maker's Lab really took off this year. There is a Buda Kids Club that meets, and once a month there is a dedicated Maker's Lab day. Checking out books at the library has never been easier. They acquired two new self-check stations for library guests to check out materials faster and easier. Also new this year, the library partnered with Community Action Incorporated to provide free high school equivalency classes. The library teamed up this summer with Hill Country Backyard Astronomers for an evening beneath the stars. Astronomy night events will continue in the future. Meanwhile, it was a busy summer of reading for the library's Summer Reading Club. We had 582 participants who logged 612,630 minutes of reading. The old library's furniture is history. We invited the public to come and scoop up what they wanted and everything was taken. For more information on classes, events, or services, please visit butalibrary.org. The city held its first ever Don't Mess With Texas Trash Off. Volunteers came together to pick up trash and to help keep Buda beautiful. Buda celebrated its 138th birthday on April 1st. The city held a birthday celebration at Stagecoach House to mark the big occasion. Summer was a little cooler thanks to the opening of the Green Meadows Splash Pad at Green Meadows Park. The new splash pad opened to the public in April and had a grand opening in June. Univision held its first In Su Comunidad or In Your Community event in Buda this year. Univision's news anchors broadcasted live and several community organizations were on hand to provide information on the services they provide to the public. The new Johnson High School opened its doors this school year and had a grand opening over the summer, as did the new Buda Elementary School campus. Interested in Buda's transportation system? The City of Buda is developing a transportation and mobility master plan to identify transportation needs and solutions. The city recently put out a survey to get input from the public on transportation needs. There will be more opportunities to provide your input in 2020. As always, the city put on a number of events this year, including Red, White & Buda. Buddha Halloween, the Cocoa Jingle and Downtown Lighting Ceremony, and Trail of Lights. One of Main Street Buddha's new events this year was Art in the Heart. And of course, the Buddha Lions Club held their annual Wiener Dog Races this year, which is always a popular event. The city of Buda was ranked as the 15th safest city in Texas in the annual SafeWise.com Safest Cities Report. To identify the 50 cities with the best safety records, SafeWise analysts looked at the number of violent crimes reported in the 2017 FBI Unified Crime Report, the most recent data available. The city's Public Information Office received an award of honor from the Texas Association of Municipal Information Officers for its mini documentary video on the municipal complex construction process from start to finish. 
Congratulations to Finance Director June Ellis. June earned the national designation of Certified Public Manager after graduating from Texas State University's William P. H. Hobby Center for Public Service in June. A big congratulations to Buda City Manager Kenneth Williams. Mr. Williams took over as President of the Texas City Management Association for 2019-2020. TCMA consists of local government professionals dedicated to promoting the highest standards of governance, service, leadership, ethics, and education while embracing individual and regional diversity for the benefit of the membership and cities like Buda. Once again, the City of Buda received the Government Finance Officers Association Distinguished Budget Presentation Award, this time for the fiscal year 2018-2019 budget. In order to receive the budget award, the city had to satisfy nationally recognized guidelines for effective budget presentation. Congratulations to Texas Downtown Association President's Award winners, Thatcher Natural Home Offerings, the Beautiful Hiker and Assemblage Contemporary Craftsman Gallery located at Buda Mill and Grain Company. Great news for Main Street Buda. It received national accreditation by the National Main Street Center, Main Street America. The City of Buda Municipal Complex was recognized with the Urban Land Institute's Best Public Place Award. The Urban Land Institute recognizes and celebrates projects that achieve excellence in land use practice. Construction on the City of Buda Municipal Complex was completed in 2018 and it opened to the public in the summer of 2018. Baylor Scott & White opened their first full-service hospital in Hayes County right here in Buda. As we mentioned earlier, Johnson High School opened its doors to students in Buda this school year, as did the new Buda Elementary School campus. On the east side of town, Sunfield Station, a 30,000 square foot multi-use sports complex, celebrated its grand opening this year. These are just a few of the highlights of the openings around Buda. There's no question, Buda continues to grow. The latest population estimate from the Texas Demographic Center for Buda City Limits is 18,323. That's up from 16,915 at the middle of last year and 7,295 in 2010. The city of Buda lost one of its longtime employees this year. Martin Doc Dockendorf passed away in August. Doc was hired by the city of Buda's Public Works Department in 2001 and served as the wastewater utility supervisor. He was a wonderful employee who understood the meaning of the word team. He was focused on the good of the city and the department rather than his own benefit. Doc is greatly missed by all of us here with the city of Buda. Looking ahead to 2020, the Main Street construction projects and City Park Improvement Project are slated to be finished. Work will begin on Drainage Area 1, which is the Fire Station and Bluff Street diversion. The general scope of work for this project includes channel improvements and culvert upgrades along West Goforth and the Union Pacific Railroad track. Also in 2020, the City will be conducting a 2020 Citizen Survey, so be on the lookout for that. And as mentioned earlier, we will be putting together a transportation and mobility master plan. And Beautifest will return bigger and better in 2020. Also expect to see additional events as we capitalize on the amphitheater at City Park once it is complete. Here's to an awesome 2020.